Hi guys, my name is Matti Sulanto. I'm a photographer. Welcome to another video. This time we're going to take a look at this brand new TT Artisan 75mm f2 prime lens for the Nikon Z mount and the Sony E mount. But first the compulsory disclaimer. TT Artisan sent this lens to me for a review. But everything I'm going to say is my own opinion. They did not sponsor this video, no money changed hands. 75 millimeters is slightly unusual focal length for a prime lens. It's not completely unheard of, but certainly not as popular as a 50 millimeter or an 85 millimeter or some other more common prime focal length. And I believe this is the first and only autofocus 75 millimeter prime lens for either the Nikon Z mount or the Sony E mount. This comes in at 178 US dollars, which makes this very, very attractive for all of us with a tight limited budget. Let's see if this is any good and worth even that amount of money. In this video, I'm going to mention some things that I like about this lens and some things I don't like about this lens. But before we go into that, let's take a look at some pictures. dislike is this lens rear cap that has a USB connector for possible firmware updates. The reason I don't like this system is that if something happens to this lens cap, you won't be able to update your firmware. I'd like to see a USB connector on the lens and not on the lens cap. Not a major big dislike, but because I don't like it, I had to say it. And the next dislike is the backlight performance, which can be very interesting in certain situations and especially at higher F numbers like F11. Nothing unique for a budget lens like this. Most of these uh, affordable lenses that I have tested have the same exact backlight performance or issue. And I wouldn't say it's a deal breaker, it is just something to be aware of if you plan to shoot on a lens like this. You just have to avoid high F numbers and uh, maybe shade the lens with your hand a little bit or change the camera angle slightly and the, the flare goes away. No more dislikes, but before we move to the likes, let's take a look at some more pictures. First like is the build quality. This lens feels extremely premium when it comes to the build quality. All metal construction, plastic lens hood, glass lens elements of course, and a very very nice aperture ring with third of a stop clicks. Beautiful. I really like this aperture ring. It's almost as nice as the aperture ring on the Sony G series lenses. And of course there is the A position also if you prefer to control your aperture from the camera. The click between F16 and the A is a little bit too faint. I wish there was some more like a firmer click there. Now it's easy, too easy to accidentally turn the ring to the A position. Not a big deal. Beautiful aperture ring, beautiful perfectly dampened manual focus ring. I really like the build quality. The next like is the compact size. This weighs in at about 327 grams without the hood. So not super, super lightweight, but I don't think you can call this heavy either. 
the filter size is 62 millimeters and I think this would make a really nice travel lens for anyone who prefers prime lenses. Your other lens could be a 40 millimeter or a 35 millimeter and these two together would make a perfect travel kit. The next like is the sharpness. This lens is very sharp at every aperture and I would not hesitate to use this wide open or stop down. Every aperture gives you really really nice crisp and uh, sharp results. Nothing to complain about that. And the next like is mild longitudinal chromatic aberrations. It is exceptional for a budget lens like this. Many much more expensive fast aperture lenses suffer from much more pronounced longitudinal chromatic aberrations. And that is very good because those can be really hard to get rid of in post. And another like is the solid autofocus performance, at least on the Sony A7 Mark IV on which I shot all my test pictures. Very good autofocus performance. All the autofocus modes seem to work perfectly, no issues there. And I had absolutely no problems when it comes to the autofocus when I was taking my test pictures. Before I go to my final conclusion, let's look at some more pictures. My final verdict is that I really like this lens, especially when I consider the super affordable 178 US dollar price. There are not many dislikes. The only major sort of dislike was there or is the backlight performance, but even that is not a deal breaker for me, especially considering the price. I like the aperture ring, I like the build quality, and I like the optical performance very sharp lens and the pictures just came out really nice with this lens and the 75 millimeter focal length seems to suit me so much better than say 85 or 100 millimeter. Very nice lens and I can sincerely recommend this lens if you're looking for a short telephoto for your Sony E mount or Nikon Z mount camera. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon in the next video.